Hi Gemini, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your weekly reading uh, July 3rd through July 9th. Please note timing can be flexible. I am doing a weekly, so if you do enjoy the weeklies, please uh, give it a thumbs up so I know to continue them. A lot of times I don't continue them because I, I don't feel like, uh, you know, you guys like it, okay? But if you do like the dates, uh, please let me know by a comment or a like. Um, or actually preferably a like I do appreciate it um, if you're new to my channel everything you need to know is in the description box personal readings I am taking a break right now so I will announce when um, I am opening personal readings up again there's also details below how to win a free personal reading so with that Gemini let's get started this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs if it does not resonate with you, you can check out your other placements. So with that, Gemini, let's get started here. Okay, so you have the spiral dancer. Okay, so this can be an energy here where something that you're thinking about, you know, maybe you're going round and round, maybe you feel like you're not getting anywhere type of energy. I feel like with that card, this one was popping out too, so we're gonna see what this is. It says here on um, the Desert Prince, okay? This can be about false promises, all right? So there may be something here, maybe you're feeling like somebody, um, you know, they don't live up to your word, so there could be somebody around you that you're feeling that way. But this also can be about um, survival, okay? survival um you know your strength here as well but what i want to also say here you have the winged wise ones okay this is angel help so your angels are telling you right now that even though you may be feeling this way they're trying to bring you help okay to help you get through this right that that's the survival part of it so with that uh gemini let's see what else the energy shows here okay also with that spiral dancer, it can also be an energy where um, you may need to change your perception, okay? Look at something differently, all right? So if this is something you're going round and round in your head about, uh, you may need to uh, try and figure out a different approach, different alternative, you know, that's that type of energy. So with that, let's get started here with your reading. I'm going to cut the cards. We're going to pull some energies here for you. Then we'll do past, present, future energy, and then I will clarify and we'll get some guidance as well. So, oh, look at that. Power. Power. That's Leo energy as well. Let's see what else we have. Okay. Triumph. Okay, I'm already feeling like an energy here of control, right? You have the power here in the situation no matter what you have the power here and there's success ahead with that triumph card and look at that you have a uh, sacrifice here okay so even though you may be feeling like you're sacrificing at this time there's a beautiful rainbow here okay this is number 12 which is three this is telling me there's the birth of something new here and there's other possibilities in your situation and this could be in any area of your life so take it how it resonates but I feel like you're headed towards a victory here because of your self-control, your discipline here. And even though you may have sacrificed your happiness, I feel like you're, you're headed in the right direction, okay? You're headed towards a victory here. Bottom, oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have passion ignited, and you also have here firm foundation. So something here is about to change, I feel. This could be an opportunity, this passion ignited here. Okay, an opportunity that leads to, to something here that is feeling a lot more grounded, a lot more stable. You know, I always say here too, this can be about backbone, okay? And that it may be that you need to get find the strength, right, to get through this time, whatever you're going through. But let's, let's pull uh, the energy here. Okay, I happen to notice this card as I was picking up the deck. It has suffering and silence, okay? So this may be something you've been trying to deal with on your own. 
And what I want to say, there's a beautiful sunset, there's a beautiful uh, horizon in the distance there, and you're on top of the mountain. This is telling me you're all you're almost through what you've been going through. Okay, so I feel like this week, right, July third, the week we're doing here through the ninth, you may see some changes. Okay, right? You may, it's almost like um, you, you kind of get over the top of that mountain, whatever the challenge is that you're going through. So let's see what else the energy uh, shows here for you, Gemini. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Please share with Gemini what they need to know. Okay, all right. We've got Sagittarius energy. Got your energy. Oh, nice, right? Okay. Well, I just have to say, I read the cards different ways. Look at those Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Three um, prominent cards here. I'm just going to pick them up and show you. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and we also have here the Knight of Pentacles. So I, I told you I feel like something's changing. Something's changing here, I feel, that is bringing you long-term stability. Now, in your recent past, you do have Temperance and you have the Queen of Swords, and you also have here the Ten of Pentacles. It feels like um, in the past, Gemini, um, there's something here about you balancing your emotions. Um, also, I feel here uh, with this Queen of Swords, maybe detaching emotionally, okay, to find uh, stability, okay? So this could be in a love relationship. This could also be with somebody in your life, or it just could be in general. I also get the energy here, too, with the temperance. Temperance can talk about timing, patience. I am also feeling here like you may be feeling like a conversation needs to be had here with somebody, or maybe you're wanting, you know, wanting to receive communication. There could be some timing here, okay, about this. Uh, definitely feel something here around communication. And it's around stability and security here is what I get. So this is what you could be, um, you know, you could be feeling like, you know, maybe somebody made false promises in your situation and you want to talk about this. Okay, we're going to clarify. Now, in your current energy, we have the Eight of Cups, the, the Page of Swords, and you have the Ten of Cups. Now, some of you definitely, I get a strong energy of maybe a reconciliation with someone. Maybe somebody here is being emotionally distant from you. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. And in your future energy, you do have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like... Um, in the near future here, right, um, I do feel like there is going to be clarity, communication, and it's going to be an opportunity to heal um, a situation here with that Three of Swords, okay, Ace of Pentacles. Something gets cleared up, I feel, between you and someone, and it could be a heartbreak, um, something that was very heartbreaking to you. But look, here's where the trust is built again, okay? And some of you, you know, I'm just going to say, it could be an indication you may decide to detach from this energy, especially if somebody here is giving you false promises. So we're going to clarify uh, the energies, okay? Like I said, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. You have the Knight of Wands. Interesting. Three of Cups. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Cups here. I just have to show you this energy, Six of Wands <laughs> and the Knight of Cups, okay? If this is a love situation, okay, I feel like upcoming here, Gemini, you could have like quite a few options here. And I also see a new start in love. Now, some of you could be reconciliation, could be um, a message coming through here. But, you know, like I said, some of you may be deciding to detach, you know, maybe it's detaching from a friend and you're going to be making new friends here. So let's clarify the energies. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about this temperance energy. Tell me more about this temperance energy, Sagittarius energy. 
Okay, judgment. Okay, something with the past. This is in the past energy. Something that you've thought a lot about is what I'm seeing here. Okay, some of you, it could be, right, you balancing your emotions, going through healing here. Something you invested a lot of time, a lot of energy. Some of you too, I feel like you could be thinking about a reconciliation here with someone. It could be anybody in your life. You got the page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So you, you could be waiting. I'm just going to say some of you maybe have been waiting for the right timing to talk with somebody here, as I was saying. But let's clarify this Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. And it may be, it may take your, your courage and your strength here, whether it's you're detaching from someone or you want to communicate with someone. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Okay, there it is, communication. That's what I felt here. Queen of Swords, uh, we have um, the Knight of Cups. So it feels like this is someone that you care about, someone you have feelings for. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is showing up again here. So someone I feel that you have uh, feelings for, okay, could be a friend, could be a child. I'm also picking up, right, love situation here. The Empress and the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Coming together with this pe this person, Okay, birth of something new here with the Empress. Again, could be a child um, or a mother, but um, also feel here too, definitely a love situation, okay? Maybe wanting to connect. Uh, it, you know, this could even be connecting with a specific person that you have interest in. It doesn't have to be a past person. This could be, you know, you healing here from the past, you know, you've, you've spent some time healing and now you're ready to get out there and date, talk to people. But let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, we have the strength again and we have the lovers. Okay. So someone very close and dear to your heart. Somebody I feel like you still want to... Um, have that stability okay there's a loving relationship here too so somebody I feel you do care about could be a Leo could be another Gemini or that's your energy here but there's something here you're wanting um, I feel like you you want stability here and it feels like um, the opportunity here communication okay some of you it could be a relationship Sun card Leo energy we also have Queen of Cups and we also have the Ace of Wands, okay? Definitely feels like, you know, a lot of love, wanting happiness here, okay? Very giving energy, okay? Ace of Wands, potential for growth, okay? Desire, passion. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups in the current energy, okay? This is where I feel like there could be somebody who's been emotionally distant, Maybe you're deciding here, you know, kind of thinking about uh, what does it look like if I walked away from this situation, but let's see what this is. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, interesting. I have to say, Gemini, this could be an energy where you're thinking about um, being single, okay, or maybe you are single. This could be you exploring other options. Okay, maybe focusing more of your time and energy on self, okay, seeing things differently, seeing things from a different perspective, because you do have the Five of Cups here. This can talk about disappointments. So it, there could have been a past disappointment here with this person, okay, delays here too, okay, you know. Some of you may be feeling like this, the, this could be someone who walked away. Um, but let's see why the Page of Swords is here. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Okay, interesting. We got the Knight of Swords. Uh, let's pull another one. Knight of Swords. Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah. This feels like somebody who broke your heart on uh, Gemini. Okay. Or you've been through a lot of heartache with this person. Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. 
This is someone I feel like they're not a good communicator or they haven't been communicating with you. And that's why I see here you wanting to have a conversation or communicate because you've sacrificed a lot here with this person. Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. This could be somebody who is just not very um, consistent in your life. You know, I always see, you know, it's it's that runner energy, someone who's not emotionally, um, someone who's emotionally not available, okay? Very distant, uh, can be distant, but they don't stick around. They're always on the go. I always see the Knight of uh, Swords always on the go. This could be someone too who has avoided communication, and that may be why you're looking at things differently, and this is breaking your heart here, okay? King of Pentacles here, right, because... I feel like this is someone that you see um, as someone that you could come together with and that things could be stable. But this person has not shown you that. Let's see the Ten of Cups here. Tell me more. This is the, you know, this is the, the current energy. We'll get to future here. But tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Okay. Nine of Wands, yeah, and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like this is you tired of waiting. Tired of waiting here um, for a message, okay? If you're, you know, not, not all of you are waiting here, okay? Or just feeling like you're, get very, you're getting very little from this person, right? Getting very little, you, feel ex you can feel exhausted here, Nine of Wands. This is also an energy of standing your ground. So this could be someone you stood your ground with chariot here okay yeah feeling like there's no movement here cancerian energy as well okay so that takes us here to um i'm going to first clarify the heartache because that's come up a lot that can be healing here as well tell me more about the three of swords tell me more about the three of swords okay oh wow ace of cups Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Three of Swords. Healing here. I feel like i got to pull another card here with this Three of Swords since the Three of Swords came up again. Oh, yeah. Indecisive energy. Okay. Some of you may be feel, uh, thinking about the idea here of new love. Okay, something more fulfilling here. Two of Swords. I feel like this is what you're going round and round here about is that... Um, this person hurt you. You do have love for this person. I feel like you want to communicate, um, but you're tired of waiting. This is someone I feel is not a good communicator. They probably avoid conflict or communication is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like you've sacrificed a lot here. Let's uh, see why the Ace of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords because this could be communication. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Okay, Ten of Wands again. Oh my gosh. Knight of Wands. Let's get another one. Could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like it, it's just, it just definitely feels here like you're not, um, you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere with this person, okay? You're not getting the communication, I feel, or the clarity that you need from this person. And they're very hot and cold with you, very inconsistent here. And I feel like this is a heavy energy. And that's why, you know, again, false promises. This is someone who has not, um, I feel, been clear, been honest with you, okay? This could be somebody who gives their time and attention to other people is what I get here too. So let's see why this Ace of Pentacles is here. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of, seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so Gemini, this just validated. I feel like um, you are starting to see that you're not getting anywhere with this person. And Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, okay? This is someone I feel who's not honest with you. You know, this could be the liar, the cheater, okay, the stealer. 
Um, and I'm going to say for some of you, if this is a love situation, this could be somebody who, um, you know, they, they could be avoiding communication because there's another person here. Okay, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. I feel like there's not a whole lot of stability showing here with this person. And I'm going to actually ask now, okay, what is holding this person back from, um, you know, communicating with Gemini, okay, or being honest with Gemini? Please show Gemini what they need to know. And that's why Spirit, I feel, is showing you that there's, there's new options. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Devil. Capricorn energy. Definitely got a lot of Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got the World. And we got the Four of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here. Okay. Oh, what's holding them back? What I get with this person, this could be somebody, like I said, very hot and cold. This could be somebody in and out of your life, okay? What I get, Gemini, is this is someone who isn't um, valuing you, treating you the way that you should be treated. Because I feel like with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here, this is somebody I feel who is breadcrumbing, okay? They're breadcrumbing you. They, they give just enough to hold on to you with this devil energy is what I get here, okay? Now we do have the world here and we have the four of wands. Now this could be the false promises. So this could be somebody who comes around, they give a little because they wanna keep you, right? They wanna keep you in their energy. And, um, you know, with possibly here the promise here, right? Of, you know, things being stable and things coming together here, but yet, you know, it's like they don't give a whole lot here. What's the potential um, of this connection here between Gemini and this person? What's the potential here? This could be a twin flame, uh, Gemini. Okay, we have the Magician. We have the Seven of Wands. The page. Look at that, another page. The High Priestess. Look at that, and the Seven of Swords. This is someone who is trying to get away with something. They're hiding something here. Page of Cups. Okay, again, a page here. They're going to give just enough here. Um, I feel Seven of Wands. and So you could hear from this person. Okay, you could hear from this person during this week here. What's blocking this connection is this person. They don't want to give. They're secretive. I feel like they, they're hiding something here. They could be immature, not an honest person. Could be, I'm just saying, it could be a Cancer or Pisces here. Yeah, Five of Swords. Somebody who's out for themselves, okay? Somebody I feel here, you know, this is someone who, you know, is only thinking of themselves, Gemini, okay? Leaving you confused, leaving you with unanswered questions. This person does not feel like somebody who... Somebody who um, I feel is, is someone who is stable for the long term. Let's see Gemini new love. Okay, what's the energy here for Gemini new love? I'm taking it a little bit farther, but okay. Ten of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. The Moon card. You're questioning a lot right now is what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Okay. What they're showing me right now, Gemini, this is going to be about you taking the next step, opening up your options here, okay? Three of Cups, getting yourself out there, you know, go have fun, you know, go do things that you love to do. And look at that, Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. So I feel like what they're saying here, once you d make a decision here, okay, I see you reflecting, thinking about possibly a betrayal and ending here okay really questioning a lot still having feelings for this person page of pentacles and the three of wands i feel like this is about you making that judgment call here to move forward okay because spirit is showing you there's there's success ahead and look at that the two of cups 
But I feel like this is about you having the courage and the strength here to do this. Okay. There's a victory ahead as it showed in the beginning. But, you know, you always have free will and choice. Um, you know, what you want to do, Gemini. But, you know, this, this card here, I'm going to pick up these cards, right? This is um, the circuitous, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right, but circuitous route. Okay, you just keep going in circles with this person because this person does not live up to what they say. Okay, there's false promises here. And you're going to continue to hear from this person is what I feel here, okay? Um, but let's see what the uh, coffee cup oracles have to say. Oh, boy, look at that. This says new love. This is love and new love, okay? There's a heart there, okay? Could just be right. There's feelings here. But it's like pulling teeth. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Pulling teeth. This person controls the connection between you and, and, and you and them. And so this is what needs to change here. I feel like you, you're wanting a change because it's like you're not getting anywhere with this person. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, the horse, taking action, having freedom, taking back your control here. And oh boy, husband marriage. Now some of you could be married to this person, I'm just gonna say here, but this could be an indication um, that by um, moving forward, okay, there could be uh, somebody here, which I saw here with the two of cups. There could be a new person, okay, ahead that you don't see. I feel Gemini, because I feel like you're, you just can't stop thinking about this. I feel, I see you going, you know, round and round in your head here, okay, and you got the moon, and again, okay, I feel like you got a lot of questions going on here, right? or it could be emotions, emotions, you know, that the things that this person has put you through, so let's see what the guidance is here for you, Gemini, thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance, what messages do you have here for Gemini, all right, okay, we have no place like home, some of you, you could live with this person, doesn't have to be, I'm going to see what else here, okay? It can be an energy, too, of feeling comfortable, and that makes it hard to make this change because you feel comfortable with this person, okay? Yeah, here's the change, co-create, okay? Reinventing yourself, okay? New ideas, um, you know, new beginnings, okay? And that's what I feel here. It's hard for you. We also have here, imagine, imagine the possibilities, okay? If you were to make a change, taking back your power here to somebody who just hasn't been giving to you, Gemini. And we have here, yeah, time for a nap. This is about you taking time to yourself, okay? Gaining clarity here. Maybe some of you are exhausted thinking about this situation, okay? And by the book here. Number 11. Yeah, I feel like by the book here and Time for a Nap is telling you like this is about you kind of organizing your thoughts, organizing your thoughts, um, you know, also, you know, things, you know, things not being in order here, feeling like, you know, it's not going smoothly here. Yeah, look at that never ending story time to go getting the motivation to make changes in your life and look milk and honey they're telling you the energy here is stagnant okay clean it up and you also have here milk and honey okay this is the rainbow i talked about the rainbow here there is happiness ahead but it's it starts with you making a change in a situation that just feels stagnant and loyal heart i feel like you feel loyal to this person right or you have invested some time with this person right you feel a very strong connection soulmate connection but then look you have all that glitters is not gold it didn't turn it doesn't it feels like it didn't turn out the way that you expected it to turn out Jen. Gemini. So Gemini, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.